Good afternoon, welcome to the robot lab in S404 Mellor building. My name is Dave Dyke, I'm the course director for AI Robotics and Big Data at the University and I'm going to talk to you about some of the kit we have which we make use of in our courses and also talk a little bit about the different levels of the course and what you'd expect. At level four, we're bringing everybody to the same level, the same foundation, so everybody's got the same skill set moving forward. So we talk about concepts such as binary logic, logic gates, and also we talk about different devices such as this, an ARM VR Cortex processor, and we also talk about hard drives. Hard drives, basis of many computers nowadays, saves all the information magnetically. As you can see, it's got the mechanical aspect to it as well. We also give the students at level four some opportunity to use simulation products to simulate their counters and their circuits. And we also get them to undertake the same activities on a board so they can do some physical wiring as well. If we then get to level five, we start to look at industrial robotics. Now we've got an example here of two robot arms and we've also got an example of a conveyor belt system. The conveyor belt system and the robot arms would work in unison using AI. It would be assembling components such as these. It would detect which component's metal, which component is plastic, and then it would put them together and send them off into a bin for processing. We also talk about the robotic arms in the uses for pick and place as it would be in this situation, but also other applications such as welding or spray paint, depending on the industry that the robot arms are being made use of. What we also consider at level five is autonomous vehicles. If you consider Amazon, Amazon now have a warehouse where there is no human interaction in it. It is completely staffed by autonomous vehicles, picking up components, picking up packages and taking them out to the front of the warehouse ready for dispatch. So we look at the use of autonomous vehicles. Can these vehicles auto-navigate the warehouse? Can they get to the components or the packages that they need, pick them up and take them ready for dispatch? So if we look at the autonomous vehicle, it has to navigate its way around the warehouse. It also has other sensors on, so it can detect objects in the way and avoid obstacles. So if it sees an obstacle that's going along, it knows how to get around it to be able to get to where it needs to go. So then we move on to level six, and we start to move more onto the AI sort of side of the discipline. And one of the aims at level six is, we want the students to be able to program a device and an application to do a reading. And we make use of these National Instrument boards with a Wi-Fi interface to be able to do certain projects, such as this one. We've got a project here, which is just programming one of these to be able to read blood pressure, pulse and oxygen level. It's what we do with this information that's interesting and this is where one of the future points is what we're looking at. We can take this information and in the future we can talk about sending it to an AI doctor. So it can take the readings from the device, send it to an AI doctor, will be able to analyse the heart rate, analyse the oxygen levels and be able to tell whether you're completely healthy or whether there's anything that needs to be done. What we can also do, if you look at the grid on the floor, we've got a maze, and this comes back to the autonomous vehicles, where we can get the autonomous vehicles to move around the floor of the lab, making sure it follows the correct colour, and start from one end and see if we can get to the other end. We've got some latest masks on the desk, and another aspect of what we look at at level six is humanistic robots. And so humanistic robots, we want them to look humans, and so what we're looking at there is robot modelling and drone skin design. When we talk about the drone, we talk about the humanistic robot and getting the actuators and the motors to work to give the expressions and then putting the skin on top to make it look as if it's an actual human, either talking or making facial expressions. Thank you for your time. If you've got any questions, please get in touch and we can talk more about the course and the options available to you.